back, everybody. We're hanging out with an incredible actor, Jonah Hill, right here. Right? <laughs> the new movie is called Don't Look Up. It's in theaters on Friday and on, uh, on Netflix December 24th. Can you tell everyone what this movie is about? It's very funny, by the way, but it's, it's, it's very, like, smart funny, I think, to me. Like. Yeah, it's... Um, it, so Adam McKay made this movie, and Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence play scientists who see a comet coming to destroy Earth. And... Uh, the world's gonna end in like six months. So they take it all the way up to the president who is played by Meryl Streep and I'm her son and chief of staff, uh, uh, Jason. And, and we deny the comet's <laughs> existence. So Adam is a brilliant guy and he's kind of very satirically dealing with some of these issues that have been massive where it's kind of denial of science, let's say. Yeah. Um, and so I play like this kind of spoiled rich kid who is the son of the president, who is the chief of staff. And one of the things I found funny, well, you want to show the picture? I do want to show the picture because I want to show your character. Uh, here's your character right here uh, holding a... Yeah. Holding a purse. Yeah, he's a little bitchy prince. That's how yeah, I would that's, describe That's your mother. And Meryl Streep, and those are the nerd, uh, like, astronomers behind us. That, that's what Jason would say, not, not me. Yeah, I know, yeah. But, so one of the thing was, was they're like, okay, well, there was a dynamic, let's just say there was a dynamic at the time where there was a high-up political figure who perhaps inappropriately sexualized his daughter. <laughs> I'm not going to name names. Um, okay, and yeah. So it, at my thought was, well, oh, I'm the son, and most rich kids, like, look up to their father. I'm going to be someone who worships, like, the mother. So I thought it'd be interesting to play on that as to inappropriately sexualize my mother in the, in the role. <laughs> and then also, since he admires the feminine, he, I, my first thought was he's got to have a, a Birkin bag. <laughs> And the other thing was I wanted to make fi if Fire Festival was a person. <laughs> that was sort of my ideology. Of it. Yeah. Uh, if Fire Festival was a person. Yeah. That's who you're playing in. Uh, don't look up. But how cool that's... is it to uh, act opposite Mer Meryl Streep? It's so cool. And she's so cool. And everyone goes on talk shows and they're like, this person's cool, that person's cool. Meryl Streep's actually cool. And she's the best actor, in fact, I've been call so we've been doing press for this movie, and in the interviews the past couple days, I keep saying, oh, and you know, getting to work with Meryl, she's the GOAT. She's the GOAT, right? Which, if you know, stands for greatest of all time, right? That's like an acronym that you use for like Michael Jordan or yeah. Jay-Z or whoever, or you know, whoever your GOAT is for whatever you're into. Yeah. And Meryl, to me, is the GOAT. She's the greatest of all time. So the whole week I'm saying, you know, working with Meryl's the best, she's the GOAT, she's the GOAT. And then today, we're doing a press conference, and she's like, you know, and Jonah is so comfortable with me, he's been calling me a goat all week. <laughs> and, um, and she's like, and I'm like, what the <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like, and Jennifer Lawrence explained to her, she was telling Jennifer about this, how she, and she's so cool, she wasn't even offended by it. <laughs> she was just like, I guess he like loves me and is calling me a goat. And, and Jennifer's like, no, Meryl stands for greatest of all time. So she was like, hey, thanks for calling me uh, the goat. I thought you were calling me a goat this whole time. <laughs> and I was like, Meryl, you're like and she's still cool the greatest her. of yeah. all time. She really also, is. Meryl shout Street. out to the goat, Meryl Street. Street. Yeah. Yeah. The greatest of all time. Uh, it's very good. It's very well written, very well acted, very well directed. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's our pal Jonah Hill in Don't Look Up. Take a look at this. Dr. Randall. You are now the chief science advisor to the White House. What? And as such, we need you to attend an emergency cabinet meeting where you will be fully debriefed. Well, what about us? You do not have clearance for this, sweetheart. Don't trip. Got you some crackers, some waters. You don't want me to throw it on the floor. It's gonna be three, four hours tops. Here, Kate. I don't know why you're doing that. Here, what if we have to go to the bathroom? We'll lay out some newspaper for you. Grab you a can of Febreze. Hey. Short, sweet, and simple. I'll science. be back. Yes. All right. All right. Come on. Science tells the truth, Randall. You want to come? Yeah. <laughs> what a jerk! Yo, real quick, before we end, I'm not a political man, but I do believe in climate change, and my girlfriend will kill me if I don't read this. I just will say I don't know how to deal with this stuff. It feels like Mount Everest. 
You can call or email your congressperson and ask them to support HR 794, the National Climate Change Emergency. That's it. Very easy if you're into it. You're welcome anytime, buddy. Thank I you, love bro. you. Thank Jonah you. Hill, everybody. Hey, hey.